So today I thought we'd talk about the uh, Mazda Daya Robbie and Lost in Space robot, the vinyl ones that talk. We've got the uh, standard one, well this is the taller, the 24 inch one. And this is the special platinum release one, and then the one in the Jeep, that's the more standard 16 inch tall version one. And with the tripod on here, it's going to be hard for me to get in closer to things, but the box for the 16 inch one's there. Let's move down this way. <clears throat> and there's the standard sized B9 and its box is down there. Now all of these regardless of their size have the same uh, talking mechanism inside the case. And these are extra ones. This one says Robbie. It's a physical record, spinning record player, a needle and diaphragm, motor driven. This is the B9 one. Speaks in both Japanese and English. So, um, I thought we'd go ahead and open one of these up, just so you guys can see kind of what's inside these things. So I don't have to keep looking at the camera, let's pull back some. So they have a C-cell battery that they're powering them with, and they do have a speed control in there to adjust for battery life. If you have a brand new battery that has the full one and a half volts then you can move this lever all the way over to the right and it'll play the right speed and as your battery gets weaker then you can move it over to the left to speed it up to make up for well for example here let's put this all the way over there put that in so So now you can see how that would speed the motor up, and you'll see even better once we get inside. Um, even though almost all these talking boxes and the different toys look similar from the outside, there are actually very many um, variations. Uh, a lot of the toys, like the laughing robots, have to have a mechanism where the record, when it gets to the end, it resets the needle back to the beginning, so it'll always be laughing when told to. This is the kind that plays the end and stops, and you have to push a button to reset the needle to the outside groove to start again. Then there's ones that have extra switches in there, because some of your toys, um, when they're making their sound, they'll stop the, the walking or the bump and go action, have that sound playing. When the sound is done, then it flips a switch and puts power back to the other functions. It just kind of depends on what they're up to. Like I say, they're almost always the same funky color, though. And I'm not really sure which way we should go into this first. You know, some of the ones that aren't this color, like in the, uh, the Spanish, the Mexican Lost in Space robot that I uh, did a video on, it's a very bare-bones record player in there. I mean, it's basically just a frame with the record and the motor. It's... Uh, not that nice. Okay, so here we got the cover off. You can first thing you can see is there's this spring, and this spring applies pressure to this diaphragm. This diaphragm is held in place by these two pins right here, and you can see it can it can rock. 
and by when you push that button on the front you actually end up lifting that up and that resets the needle back out to the outside because you got some springs in here. Up here is that speed control we talked about. It's basically a wire wound resistor and depending on where you move that it'll add some resistance in line to the motor to slow it down. Uh, what do we want to look at here first? This is the actual needle. The record is in the back side back here but this is the little needle arm that tr moves along there and the uh, back side of this diaphragm because this is what makes all the noise you can see how it's real sensitive to being touched this rides on this needle arm no matter where the needle arm is in other words it's in the same arc there's a little dot a little divot on the top of that and that rides on the back of that diaphragm um, it has a spring return you can see here this is the electrical switch that uh, turns this motor off so when the, it's played all the way to the inside groove of the record the motor gets switched off when you push the button so this needle can fly back out to the outside groove then these two contacts touch and the motor can run on this side gets a little more tricky because of the way they're put together I gotta get this belt off here there we go so the motor has this belt which drives this small record on a turntable the record is actually snapped on so this whole same mechanism can use different records they just snap snap them 